wake out the sleep you in. Y'all are really asleep. I can't think of one Mexican or Hispanic that's out here fighting for their people. Right. Y'all got politicians that don't give a damn about y'all. All they want is a dollar. Who really care about their people? Bring it out. You got Mexican boys and girls being put in cages and wrapped in aluminum foil on the border. They're giving them aluminum foil for blankets. What are y'all doing about it? Who's doing anything about it? Nothing. We lining up for tacos and our people being killed right now. Mexicans are being killed right now. What are y'all doing about it? Nobody doing nothing because don't nobody care. So you must look around, know the times that you in. Mexicans are getting gunned down at an astronomical rate. The black man is getting gunned down at an astronomical rate. They literally taking our sons and daughters away from their parents. How do you take a daughter away from her mother and do nothing about it? Y'all letting the white man take your daughters away from you and put them in cages right now and y'all out here partying. Y'all out here turning up, listening to Bad Bunny and all this other reggaeton nonsense. They killing your people. Your people are dying right now. Read. And that, knowing the time. But the problem is, is that we don't know the times that we're in, and most importantly, we don't care. As long as it ain't my children, I don't give a damn. I'm going to let you in on something, black Hispanic man. That is your people. That's right. If that's a so-called Hispanic, that's your son. That's your daughter. Y'all got to look and start caring for one another. That's Stop right. selling for this little village when the whole world belongs to you. That's right. The whole world was made for the so-called Hispanics. And y'all settle for a little village. Y'all selling for a little village. A Walgreens and a taco shop is what y'all settle for. And the whole world belongs to y'all. The whole earth was given to the so-called Mexican. Y'all got to wake up and realize who you are. Take your strength back. That's right. Get a backbone about yourself. Right. Read. That now it is high time to a wake out of sleep. The Bible says it's time for y'all to wake up. You know what's going to make y'all wake up? Ice. Ice is going to make y'all wake up. That's right. I mentioned the word ice and everybody looks up. Y'all letting these people scare y'all into your houses and burrows. Don't be scared of these people no more. Y'all got brothers that will fight with you. Y'all don't got to be scared no more. How y'all letting people deport y'all from your own land? This is your land. You got to stop being scared and fight. Right. Put your strength on. The black man is getting gunned down out here. What do you see us doing? You see us standing up and fighting. See, the Chavez used to fight. What happened to y'all? How did y'all fall asleep like that? Y'all let these people take everything from y'all, and all y'all settle for is a white picture of Jesus and Mother Mary. Newsflash, Jesus Christ was a black man. That's right. That's what the Bible says. Your people were once black as well before you let the conquistadors rape and rob you. You let these people rape and rob you and you do nothing about it. That's why I don't believe the tough nonsense. Right. If you're really tough, take your land back. That's right. If you're really tough, take your land back. Read. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. You got to wake out the sleep you in. Y'all are really asleep. I can't think of one Mexican or Hispanic that's out here fighting for their people. Right. Y'all got politicians that don't give a damn about y'all. All they want is a dollar. Who really care about their people? Bring it out. You got Mexican boys and girls being put in cages and wrapped in aluminum foil on the border. They're giving them aluminum foil for blankets. What are y'all doing about it? Who's doing anything about it? Nothing. We lining up for tacos and our people being killed right now. Mexicans are being killed right now. What are y'all doing about it? Nobody doing nothing because don't nobody care. Everybody content with their tacos and their Walgreens in their neighborhood. That's your son right there. If you let the, so the world get a hold of your son, the white man is going to destroy your people. Y'all brothers got to build up. What happened to the Cesar Chavez of the world? What happened to the Mexican leaders? What happened to the Mexicans that cared about their people? Y'all selling for a little village when this whole continent belongs to you. That's, That's right. right. I'm talking North, South America, and Canada belong to the so-called Hispanics, and y'all let them give y'all a little village. Read. For now, is our salvation near than we believe? Salvation is on the way for the blacks and Hispanics. Salvation is on the way for you. The Bible was written for the so-called Hispanics, the so-called blacks, and the so-called Native Americans. Yes, y'all right. are one nation of people. But the thing is, is y'all don't care. You know they put Mexican babies in cages? 
You know they putting Hispanic babies in cages. What are you going to do about it as a man, as a leader? Are y'all going to stand up and fight for your people? No. Nah. We just contend with tacos and Walgreens. Just give us the tacos, give us a little village and Walgreens, and we cool with that. But our babies is being put in cages right now, and nobody doing nothing about it. You just had a little 13-year-old get gunned down by the police, and nobody doing nothing about it. But then you look at the black man like we your enemy. When we out here getting oppressed just like you is. The white man took our land just like he took your land. The white man put us in slavery just like they put y'all in slavery. But y'all content for some Lacosta. Y'all content with some Adidas and Nikes and some Air Yeezys. Just give us some new Nikes and we good. Give us some Jordans and some tight t-shirts and we cool. But your babies are being put in cages right now and y'all not doing nothing about it. it but y'all call yourselves men. Y'all call yourselves leader and they out here killing y'all people. Read. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to a wake out of sleep. And we're gonna keep coming on these streets until you wake up, Mexican man. How you a Mexican, a Latino, and a Hispanic all at the same time? That don't even make sense. Newsflash, you the Israelites. That's you God's chosen people. You ain't no Mexican, you ain't no Latino, or you ain't no Hispanic. Y'all let these conquistadors rape you and name you. They gave you a name. You ain't even strong enough to have your own name. Half of y'all probably a Sanchez, a Rodriguez, or a Diego. Why? Because y'all let these people conquer y'all. The same thing they did to my people, the so-called blacks. That's they gave y'all the Catholic Church, they gave me the Baptist Church. Newsflash, Jesus Christ is a black man. That's, That's right. right. Your people were once black men when y'all had a backbone. Now y'all don't got a backbone. Where your strength at? How do you let somebody come take a land from you and you do nothing about it? But settle for tight t-shirts and tacos. What's wrong with our people? Where's the real men at? Where's the leaders at? Psalms 94 16. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 94 and verse 16. Bring it out. Who will rise up for me against the evil doer? Read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evil doer? The Bible is a history book written by Mexicans, written by so-called blacks. We wrote this Bible. The white man has nothing to do with this Bible. This Bible was written by so-called blacks and Hispanics. We wrote this Bible. That's they right. took our Bible and they put us in slavery. And now the most times we turn our Bible back to us and we gonna show you what it says. Read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evil doer? God is asking who is going to rise up. Why is God asking who will rise up? Because he know y'all asleep. Stand up on your feet and be men. That's right. How do you let people take something from you? If I came and took a dollar from you right now, you gun me down in the street. But you let the white man come and take a whole land from you and you did nothing. Bring it out. And you still not doing nothing about it. But if I accidentally stepped on your shoe, you cuss me out and kill me. Bring it out. But you let these people take everything from me. But you want to call yourself a man and you want me to believe that you tough. You ain't tough. If you was tough, you take your land back. Right. If you was tough, you go take your kids out them cages. That's right. That's what real men do. Read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evil door? Our daughters is being kidnapped right now. Our mothers got to work today 80 years old. Our fathers got to work today 100. And we still get nothing. But where's the leaders at? Where's the men that that's going to step up and do something? Nowhere to be found. Why? Because there ain't no backbones in the communities. Where the leaders at? Where the people who give a damn about their people? Read. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Against who? Against the workers of iniquity. You know who the workers of iniquity are? Esau, that's the so-called right. white man according to the Bible. That's, right. that's who the workers of iniquity are. That's who took your land and that's who put you in chains. Bring it up. That's who took your land, and that's who put you in chains. But you kill another black man. You kill another brown man like he meant nothing to you. That's right. But you letting people come and take a land from you. They taking your daughters from you. They taking your kids from you. And you out here giving them praise in the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church was set up by the same people that enslaved you. Wake up. Stop being simple. Read. Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? Or who? will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity. Matthew 24, 11. We out here seeking who gonna stand up and fight for their people. We out here lined up with solutions right now and ain't nobody giving a damn. Why? Because we too busy wanting to celebrate Halloween. Halloween is idolatry. That's right. Santa Maria is idolatry. That's right. 
The day of the dead is idolatry. That's all wickedness. And that's why your people are in slavery right now, because we settle for this stuff. Because you follow behind Halloween. How do you follow behind anything that was set up by your oppressor? These people took your religion, they took your heritage, they took your Bible, and they gave you Catholicism in a white man that rapes kids. That's right. Tell me when I'm lying. Y'all send y'all kids to these Catholic churches, and y'all yeah, know they raping these little boys. Y'all see it on the news every day. Y'all know what they doing to these boys, and y'all still send them to these Catholic churches. That was set up by the same people that enslaved you. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 11. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Read it again from the top. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. The false prophets is the Catholic Church. The false prophets is the Pope. How do y'all let a white Pope that look like a damn devil lie to you and enslave you? That's right. They are the devils that the Bible speak of. Read and you let out. these people give you religion. How are you going to let the same people that put you in slavery teach you who God is? Y'all let these people teach you that Jesus Christ is a white man. Jesus Cristo no blanco. Jesus Cristo es negro. That's right. That's in the Bible. Biblios. That's in the Bible. Read it again from the top. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. And y'all been deceived. That's why y'all out here celebrating Halloween. That's why y'all out here in the midst of idolatry. All the money y'all spend on the day of the dead nonsense when y'all babies are being put in cages. How are y'all celebrating right now? How the hell can you celebrate Halloween and you know what they doing to your children on the border? You know what they, what ICE is doing to your people. How the hell can you celebrate Halloween right now when ICE is taking your children? Bring it out. ICE is separating kids from mothers and y'all out here celebrating Halloween. Hey, what's your name? How can y'all settle for that? How can y'all settle for the white man taking everything from you, but you want to come tough against us? You big and bad when it comes to another brother that look like you, but the white man took everything from you and you do nothing. You do nothing, but you settle. Read. And because iniquity shall abound. Because what? And because iniquity shall abound. You know what that iniquity is, Santa Maria? Mother Mary? The blue idea, that's the weakness in the earth that got y'all asleep and lost. The Catholic Church, y'all sit there and watch the news every day about the Catholic Church to rape this kid. The Catholic Church to rape this kid. And you know what you say? I'm going to send my boys to them. You sit there know what they're doing to your kids in these Catholic churches and you still send your children to them. How? How? Y'all really think these people love y'all? If these people love y'all, they give you your land back. That's right. If the white man loved you, they give you your land back. Y'all believe that the, the Christian church love you? Y'all believe that the Catholic church love you? Tell them to give you your land back and see what happens. Go up to them. Say, listen, I'm a Mexican. This is my land. I want it back. And watch how they put you to death. They going to laugh dead in your face. Can I ask you a question? Okay, come build with me. Come build with me. I'm, I'm your brother. Familia. Hermano. I'm your hermano. What's your name, sis? Who? Jess. Jess, can I ask you a question, Jess? What's your nationality? I'm Mexican-American. Mexican-American. What's the difference between a Mexican, Hispanic, or Latino? Well, Mexican-American is because I was born here, and my parents migrated from Mexico. Okay, before this land was called America, what, what was it called? It was called Arsworth in the Bible. This land was given to your people by the Most High God, and I can show you that in the Bible. But because y'all sin and start celebrating Santa Maria, Start celebrating Halloween and all that wickedness. God took this land from you and he put you in slavery. The same thing he did to us. We are brothers. We are brothers and sisters. If you look on that sign down there, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are one nation of people. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. We let these people conquer and divide us and lie to us. They put me in the Baptist church. They put you in the Catholic church. They told you Jesus was white and they told me Jesus was white. What we are here to do is show you the truth. Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. You are not Mexican, you are not American, you are an Israelite according to the Bible. You are God's chosen people. What we're trying to show you is that the blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans were one nation of people. We were one nation of people. But the number one tactic in war is conquer and divide. They called you a Catholic, they called me a Christian. 
But before they did all of that, we served God under the laws of Christ. That was it. We didn't know nothing about Catholicism. Let me ask you a question. My sister's right here. This, this your wife? I'm going to come to you. What do you think about the Catholic Church? Is a lot of your family into Catholicism in the Catholic Church? Be honest. How did I know that? Because she said Catholic Church too. How did I know that y'all were into the Catholic Church? Because it was forced on your people. They forced that on your people. They forced you to follow this or you will be put to death. You were forced to follow this or you will be put to death. Y'all are not Spaniards or Spanish. Y'all Spanish speaking people. It's a difference. Y'all are the Israelites that the Bible speaks about. Y'all are God's chosen people. But the question is, is what happened to the men that actually cared? They taking our sons and daughters away from their parents. What are we doing about it? We out here listening to Bad Bunny. We out here turning up the reggae tone while our people are being killed in the streets right now. What are we doing about it? We gang banging? We going to the Catholic church? Bro, be honest. You know exactly what they're doing to our sons in these Catholic churches. You don't know? I share with you if you don't know. What, what do you think they're doing to our sons in the Catholic churches? What, what's going on in the Catholic church with our sons right now? You don't know? You don't know? I think she got an idea. Okay, can, can I ask you, sis, what's going on in the Catholic church with our sons? They're brainwashing them and molesting them. They're breaking them and molesting them. They're destroying their minds and they're literally molesting them right now. So why do we keep sending our kids there knowing what it's doing to them? Hosea 4 verse 6. You know why we keep doing it? Because we destroy. We got so far away from who we were as a people. Y'all, that man right there, he don't even realize he's the ruler of this earth. You wonder what everything that the so-called blacks and Hispanics do, the whole world do. A Mexican, wear, a Mexican wear boots like that, next thing you know you see a Chinese man wearing boots like that. A black man sag his pants, next thing you know everybody want to sag their pants. A Mexican man want to get tattoos, now the whole world want to get tattoos. Everybody follows the blacks and Hispanics. You know why? Because we are the rulers of the earth. We the sons and daughters of the Most High God. You ain't Mexican, you ain't Latino, you ain't Hispanic. That don't even make sense. How are you three, four, five different things at once? Bring it out. You are the children of Issachar according to the Bible. Read. Right. The book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. And I'm going to show you why you don't know that. My people. God says what? My people. No, everybody. My people. Newsflash. You so-called Hispanics are the sons and daughters of God. You are not the children of the Catholic Church. The Pope is not your father. News flash, the Catholic Church is molesting your children right now. Right. Literally right now as we speak, you got thousands of little Mexican boys being touched in the Catholic Church. I'm not lying about nothing. This is all facts. It's just now getting exposed. So why do you continue to go to the Catholic Church knowing what they're doing? But you sit there and say, oh, I love my kids. You love your kids, but you're not doing nothing to protect them. Right. Read. My people, God says his people, are destroyed. Are what? are destroyed are what are destroyed god says his people are destroyed look around you got mexicans celebrating halloween when this was set up by the same people that put you in slavery you got so-called mexicans in the catholic church when the catholic church funded your slavery they gave the boats they gave christopher columbus the boats and the money to come over here and enslave you that's right they forced y'all to follow the cross or you were being put to death where's the leaders that's gonna step up and do something about it my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You can't tell me this Bible ain't about you so-called Hispanics. The Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We return in the knowledge of who you are. You are the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. You must keep the laws of God. You women must stop wearing pants. You men must pull up your pants and be leaders. Teach, huh? You must keep the Sabbath day holy. Today is the Sabbath day of rest. You're not supposed to be buying or selling. That's your religion. That's your customs. But we let the white man lie to us and, and spoon feed us. All this nonsense. That's how you know y'all are the people of the book. Because y'all are destroyed. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be 
Cristo.